Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do singles love reading for September 2019, the September equinox changes of season. There are two that come each year here, Taurus, and one's in March, and the next one's around the 22nd, 23rd of September. And this is when the sun's rays shines directly on the equator, and the length of the day and the night is nearly equal. So it's about the opposite sides of the um, equator. So it is known in the um, Northern Hemisphere as the autumnal fall equinox. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's considered uh, the first day of spring. It's known as the vernal spring equinox. So its name comes from the Latin terms equal night. Now I did ask Spirit if the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere Taurians have met their soulmate yet. And the lovebirds in the Northern Hemisphere definitely have been together several times recently. Now, in the Southern Hemisphere, you haven't met your soulmate yet here, Taurus, but um, your life partner is at present with another, but it won't be for long. So I'm going to do the um, Northern Hemisphere first, and the cards that have fallen out for you is the ring, the clouds, and the broom. Now, I've picked the scythe here as representing the fall, the stalk here is representing the change of seasons and the bouquet is representing springtime for the southern hemisphere. So there is definitely some um, a relationship that has some uncertainty about it uh, due to heated discussions, heated arguments. Now there has been a relationship cut off in the past and I feel like it was on your side Taurus you've cut this person off because there was some unrequited love here. There wasn't enough chemistry at this point in time. The changes that you will be going through are causing confusion. Now, there is um, an invitation that you're considering and you want to take into action. So let's see what else is going on here. Um, but I think you wanted to cut off the, um, the arguments. But the relationship, there was an invitation. There's an invitation coming. Now, we've got this, the lily here. So this could be a sexual chemistry that you had between you that was cut off for reasons we'll find out. Uh, maybe it's because you weren't being honest here, Taurus. It's falling directly under you. Now, there was a lot of... Um, there was an invitation in matters of love or uh, maybe there's some quarrels here in a sense of romantic relationship but uh, I don't feel like you were being honest enough in the relationship now we have the house here and maybe um, this confusions causing family issues so you wanted to put it to rest for a while now this is someone professional maybe um, you're seeking professional help in this section um, Taurus, but let's see what else is going on. Maybe uh, the uh, decision was due to family members. You were influenced by family members for this relationship. Two of these come out. Let's see. One card. Thank you. Okay, so definitely uh, the other party is definitely feeling lonely in love due to the this um, breakup or ending of a relationship I do feel um, there was definitely some misunderstandings or someone not being honest in a discussion and this has led to the separation here Definitely you, you may need some counselling on this side or help from a friend because you are a little confused, a little foggy in the head here at this present time, Taurus, and um, it's causing a lot of loneliness on both sides of the relationship. So let's see if there's an outcome for you. Okay, so definitely it's about having faith. Maybe there's uh, a relationship that's going to be a little bit burdensome because this person's already in a relationship perhaps or maybe um, 
This is requiring you to have faith if you're a male. Uh, there is some luck coming or maybe you're going to take the risk with this person because I feel like you definitely have been together um, for some reason family interfered I feel there's a lot of interference with family in here and this has, this has caused a lot of problems let's see if there's anything else that spirit needs you to know but one or the other it is definitely unrequited love on your part of feel Taurus it's definitely um, from you so this is the ending of a cycle I think this is over dead and buried um, I don't think this relationship is going to work but there is something to be revealed still it may be over due to secrets and this could be due to family or health issues perhaps for some of you <clears throat> now definitely um this is just a soulmate connection for you. I'm going to pop them there. Or maybe you're seeking help from a friend, getting some advice from a friend. Or you've got a good uh, support network here. But definitely, um, I do feel a friend is going to shine the light on things for you this month here, Taurus, in the Northern Hemisphere. So remember, you have been together several times recently. Uh, but at this point, I don't think the relationship's ready. Maybe someone else needs to go through their lessons, um, karmic lessons before you're on the same page, that kind of thing. So I'll go on to the Southern Hemisphere now, so just bear me with me while I just shuffle and get rid of these energies. Okay. Now, um, you haven't met your future partner yet here. Taurus in the southern hemisphere but you're being cautioned here for when you do so um, this person is definitely with another at this present time but they won't be for long so there's definitely some confusion around well there's going to be some confusion so let's see what we have for Taurus in the southern hemisphere okay Okay, we've got the mice here. So these changes cause a lot of confusion or will be causing a lot of confusion and anxiety on your part. Let's see what else is going on. Now, it's probably because this person is still with another. But maybe when they meet you, that they won't be. Now, this is uh, a woman here. So there's trouble for a woman, Torian. Definitely trouble that causes a lot of um, stress and it is to do with the third party so this could be the wife or the husband now this uh, the writer is about a visit or a message so this could be a um, threatening message coming to you when you do meet this person now we have um, the fox here so there's definitely someone that's being undermining you and there's a decision to make here you may have to be a little bit sneaky around this time now we do have the book here which is uh, things happening in secret so there could be um, discussions about a visit or a message that's coming in secret for you let's see what else is going on for you but you need to pay attention to red flags definitely when you meet this person they have somebody or they've just recently come out of a relationship now you have the fish here which is to do with money or just going with the flow um, it's definitely a businessman in the picture whether it's you Taurus or your partner but this is um, definitely a friend definitely a friend or a financial advisor now we've got a woman card here which is um, a woman who's foreign but this is about taking the risk or having some luck here okay now we've got the mountain so there's probably luck overseas definitely luck coming for you overseas and the two cards that have fallen out is uh, definitely a success for um, a woman here 
So maybe this person has been um, with somebody else, but they're your life partner, and they're not going to be with this person for long. So although you're going to go through a lot of challenges with the third party person, um, things are going to happen in secret. So I feel like it will have a good outcome for you here, Taurus, in the Southern Hemisphere. So I hope that's helped for the spring equinox in the Southern Hemisphere and the fall equinox in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. So um, it's not going to pertain to everybody, but it is for someone who's coming for guidance. Love and blessings. Bye for now.